Today I'm going to show you how to create a classic smoky eye with a little bit of a shimmering twist. With any look that you do, creating a blank canvas is the most important. So apply concealer or an eyeshadow primer all over the lid and right up to the brows. Then taking a blending brush and a shadow that is very similar to your own skin tone that pretty much matches it, you want to apply this from the crease up to the brow bone. I want you guys to avoid the lid because I want the lid to stay sort of tacky from the concealer and the eyeshadow primer and this will give the smoky shadows that we're going to apply something to really hold on to. But by applying this base from the crease up towards the brows, we create a soft, powdery, silky texture for us to blend over. Taking our mid-tone shade or a transition shade, you can even use your bronzer, you want to blend this over and back in the crease area. So going over everything that we've already applied with our base shade, but not blending it up too high. Blending the depth of the color from the crease fading upwards. With a clean blending brush, you want to soften out any harsh lines. You have to imagine that smoke has a depth that then disappears into nothing. And that's basically what your mid-tone or transition shade should do. You then want to take your contour shade and a small brush, something that you have the most control over. You want to apply this all over the lid. So this is going to work as a base for our smoky shade that we're going to apply. This shadow is just slightly darker than the mid-tone that we've applied and you want to keep this really close to that lash line and then very softly blending it upwards till it fades into the mid-tone. Now with a black eyeshadow, and a small flat brush, you want to coat the lash line. A little trick that I like to do is I like to saturate the lash line to begin with, almost as if I'm lining it. And then I want to take my fingertips and press over the top to press that pigment in. And then I take my small blending brush and just soften over the top of the black blurring and smudging and blending this upwards. And I typically only blend my black eyeshadow about the halfway point of the lid, and then that should slowly fade into the contour and the mid-tone. With a black pencil liner, I want to coat right at the waterline or the tight line. I like to look down and mirror and just basically push upwards working in between the lashes. Another important step is to really coat the lashes in mascara, making sure they are as dark as possible. We want to imagine that the darkness of the smokiness is starting at the roots of the lashes. If you can't get your roots really dark, try using a liquid liner and just do an invisible line really close to the lashes. Curl your lashes or add some falsies and then clean up any excess fallout. Keeping the under eyes nice and bright will create a beautiful contrast with your smoky eye. Taking a base shade or a neutral eyeshadow again and a slightly smaller brush, we're going to apply this underneath the brow bone. This is basically reapplying what we've already applied to begin with and I also like to apply a small amount just on that inner corner. I feel like smoky eye should start right where your lashes start so the inner corner can remain bright. For the under eyes, I apply a little bit of mascara and then also black liner on the lower waterline. Then taking that black shadow again on that same flat brush, I wanna push this underneath the lashes. You wanna basically get in between the lashes and really close to that lash line so it's almost an extension of the black liner that's been applied. Then taking your mid-tone shade that we used in the crease and a small pencil brush, you want to smudge out this line. And I push the brush down ever so slightly just so I can get really close to that lash line. Taking a little bit of silver on a flat brush, I want to apply this on that inner corner and ever so slightly underneath the arch of the brow too, just to add a bit of shine. And with that dark shimmering mushroom shade, 
I'm going to use my fingertips to press over the top of the smoky eye. So focus mostly on the lower part of the lid. Pressing this over the top of the black and I use my fingertips because I prefer it over using a brush. I find you get that silky effect so much better with your fingertips. Then I like to take my blush shade on a blending brush and I just like to go around the edges of what I've already applied. This is what I refer to as a fade shade and it basically creates a slightly different tone in the crease of the eye and also can be used under the eye too. And then just use that on your cheeks and get a matching lipstick and that just brings the entire look together. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you recreate this smoky eye, I would love to see it. You can tag me, it's at Katie. If you learned something, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Check out the other videos on the screen and I am always here to help. So if you have any problems, definitely let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.